guys welcome back to another do it yourself with the ride tech corporation today we're going to be working on a 2015 nissan altima we're going to show you how to change the front brakes in this video so y'all stay tuned all right so we went ahead and started taking the lug nuts off here and we're going to get that tire off and go ahead and start taking that caliper off as well right here i'm using a half inch drive with a half inch socket i believe it's three sixteenths and to take the lug nuts off once we get them lug nuts out, we're going to pull that tire off. Then we're going to use a 14 millimeter socket to take off the bolts for the caliper and pull the caliper right off of there. Now that we got the caliper bolts loose, we're going to pull the caliper off there. Then we're going to take our brake pads off and use one of the brake pads to push the piston back in with a brake caliper tool from OEM Tools. You can buy it at AutoZone. I believe it's 8 or 10 bucks. I'm not really sure. can't remember. Works great. You're going to need it every time you do brakes. guys calipers off brake pads are off now it's time to pull the old hardware off put some new hardware on and install the new brake pads So we finished fighting with that brake pad and we're going to do everything in reverse now. Time to put it all back together. Caliper, caliper retaining bolts, and then throw the wheel back on it. Then we can flip flop to the other side.
something I was always told from a very early age, always put your lug nuts back on in a star pattern that ensures proper fit of the wheel to the hub. And in this video, you'll see me put on four out of the five because I've got locking lug nuts I put on after the video is over. Alright guys, we're going to transition to the driver's side. Here you see me already having the tire off. We're going to go ahead and push that caliper piston back in using that OEM brake caliper tool. And uh, then we'll continue on with the rest of the brakes. Switch up, swapping them out for the new ones. And we'll get the tires back on and we'll get this video over with. Here my wife is telling me that the video quality is too dark. She's trying to reposition the light so that you know the video is brighter so that you can actually see what I'm doing.
Alright guys, so here we are looking at all the parts that came off the vehicle from the brake pads to the hardware. And then we're going to look at the tools we used as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If y'all stay tuned until the next one. The next one we're going to be working on a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 two-wheel drive. we got to put lower ball joints on it and front brake pads, so y'all stay tuned.